Imagining what might have been is the premise behind new research looking at smoking and lung cancer. Researchers from six prominent universities and research centers were challenged to imagine a world where absolutely no effort was put into helping people to quit smoking. And then they were also challenged to imagine a world where all smoking completely stopped after the 1964 Surgeon General's report on smoking. By comparing the death rates from lung cancer in these two imaginary scenarios and comparing that with the actual death rates from lung cancer in the real world, researchers were hoping to understand the impact of tobacco control on death rates from lung cancer. The research centers created mathematical models for each scenario to estimate how many people died from lung cancer between 1975 and the year 2000 in the U.S. During that time period, there were more than 3.1 million lung cancer deaths. Researchers estimate that almost 800,000 deaths were averted thanks to tobacco control efforts, but 2.5 million more deaths could have been avoided if smoking had stopped altogether by 1965. Although the results of this study are based on estimates, it seems clear that tobacco control efforts have made an impact in saving lives. And what we do know is that not smoking or quitting smoking can significantly reduce your risk of dying prematurely from lung cancer. If you're a smoker, talk to your doctor about the best plan for you as an individual to quit smoking. I'm Dr. Carl Cabasell for CBC News.